The games of the 29th Olympiad officially open in Beijing, China on August 8, 2008. And it's on that day that NBC begins the most ambitious and comprehensive broadband video coverage of any event ever. NBC has chosen Microsoft as its technology partner to create NBCOlympics.com on MSN. Featuring 3,000 hours of live and on-demand video from Beijing, giving users unprecedented control of the sports, athletes, and countries they want to watch. And Microsoft Silverlight will bring the excitement of the Olympics in high quality and with enhanced features. With MSN's web expertise and Silverlight video technology, Microsoft will help NBC bring its Beijing coverage to new heights. It's a partnership certain to make NBCOlympics.com the ultimate digital destination when the world looks to Beijing this summer. So, on behalf of NBC, we thank you in advance and we look forward to redefining Olympic coverage together next summer. But Bill, one last thing. You have to stop calling me. There simply is no place for you on our Beijing Olympic broadcast. I'm sorry. I told you time and again. I'll say it one more time. There's nothing I can do. Lose my number. Well, I certainly enjoy the Olympics as a spectator. Uh, I can watch all the, the different obscure sports and uh, all the things that uh, really grab me. So you know, I think the, the partnership there is going to be a uh, very important one. Well, now I want to invite on stage Robbie Bach, who's the president of our Entertainment Devices Division. Uh, they're doing some amazing things to drive this vision of connected experience. Uh, so let's hear from Robbie about how that's going. Welcome. Thanks, Bill. So it's good to be here again to talk about connected entertainment. Last year, I describe Connected Entertainment to you as the process of enabling people to get their video, their music, their gaming on any device and any place where they want it. I want to talk about the successes we've had in 2007 in delivering on that and also give you a peek at some of the things that are coming in the future to continue building Connected Entertainment. First we'll start with gaming and in the past year with the release of Vista, Windows Gaming has continued to grow and be strong. Uh, Vista was a great operating system for gaming, it's doing a fabulous job there, and Windows is far and away the largest gaming platform in the world, and it continues to grow. Now, Xbox on a worldwide basis has, has had tremendous success as well. 17.7 million consoles shipped today. And we are on track this year in the U.S. to have the biggest year ever in video game history in the United States. In the U.S., we, through November, we did $3.5 billion of business. That's a billion dollars more than Nintendo did on the Wii, and it's two billion dollars more than Sony did on the PS3. And if you look at spend on Xbox 360 games, it's more than the spending on Wii and PS3 games combined. So our Xbox business is in a very, very good place. In addition, we continue to grow on Xbox Live, the online gaming service that supports Xbox. I'm excited to announce tonight that we have passed the 10 million member mark for members on Xbox Live. That's six months faster than we expected to get to that number. So tremendous momentum around what's going on Xbox Live. Now certainly a lot of the time people are on Xbox Live, they're playing games. But they are also enjoying TV and movies. And we have two very important announcements on that front tonight as well. First, I'm excited to announce that ABC and Disney will be bringing their TV shows to Xbox Live this month. On Disney, that means shows like Hannah Montana, High School Musical. And on ABC, top-rated shows like Lost, Grey's Anatomy, Desperate Housewives, and others. This is a tremendous opportunity for us to continue to expand video content on Xbox and bring more consumers into the Xbox Live experience. In addition, we're not only adding in the, in the TV space, but we're also adding in the movie space. We're excited to announce tonight that MGM is bringing its library of films to Xbox Live. This includes classics like Rocky, Terminator, Silence of the Lamb, Legally Blonde, and many more. Xbox Live, when we're done integrating this content, will offer more than twice as many hours of on-demand, high-definition content as any cable or satellite provider. 
Over 35 studios and networks are supporting us now. And it's quite clear that online distribution is going to be a powerful force in the future of video. But our, our approach to television is not just through Xbox, of course. Media Center continues its success and is on the vast majority of the 100 million plus Vista PCs that are in the market today. And in addition to having Media Center on the PCs, it's very important that we increase what's called the extender technology. This is the ability to take content that's on a Media Center PC and extend it through a TV. Now, Xbox 360 is the first place we got started with extender technology, and that's been quite successful. Tonight we are announcing that Samsung and HP will also be introducing new extender devices to connect to TVs. And HP will be the first to build extender into their new high definition TVs with their media smart TV. So that's on the media center side. Finally in the TV space, we have our product Media Room. Now Media Room is our IPTV service that delivers high definition TV, DVR, and interactivity um, through top service providers like British Telecom, Deutsche Telekom, AT&T, and 17 others around the world. To date, we now have a million TV screens on our media room service, and that number is advancing very, very rapidly. We also have some key announcements in the media room space tonight. First is a technology which we call DVR Anywhere. This is the ability to record on your media room system content in one place and distribute it to other TVs around the house that are on the network. We also are announcing some interactive applications we're developing with Showtime, TNT, and CNN. This will give you the ability, for example, in a NASCAR race to produce your view of what the race is like. So I can pick car number 35, or I can go into the pits and watch car 22 and its pit stop and produce that interactive experience myself. With CNN, we're doing an act, uh, application around the election and the ability for people to customize and understand the political situation and the election process in the United States in a very interactive way on the TV. The final announcement around Media Room, last year here, we talked about Xbox 360 being a set-top box for the Media Room service. This year, we're excited to announce that British Telecom will be the first operator to provide that capability and you'll be able to buy an Xbox 360 through BT, use it as a gaming console, as well as a set-top box on your TV. When you look at all of this together, what we've done on Xbox and Xbox Live, what we're doing on Media Center, and what we're doing in Media Room, it's abundantly clear that building great connected TV experiences is not a hobby for Microsoft. This is something we take quite seriously, and we think we can build a great business with great product for our customers. Now, when you go beyond that to the music space, I want to talk briefly about Zoom. Now, the new versions of Zoom that came out this fall are doing very, very well. We've had fabulous response to the products and reviews, and I think it's quite clear we're becoming the clear alternative to the iPod. With capabilities like subscription, Wi-Fi, and a social experience, we think we can differentiate ourselves in the space, and we think there's plenty of opportunity for that market to grow. In fact, we've been so pleased with the results in the United States for the first time we will begin selling Zoom outside the United States and Canada this spring, and there will be more opportunities for us to expand in the future. Now, I will say that music is inherently a social experience, and we want to build on that social experience. And that's why we introduced this concept called Zoom Social. Now, Zoom Social is in beta right now. It has about 1.5 million people who have tried the service out initially. And we want to give you a chance to understand what Zoom Social is, so I want to invite Molly O'Donnell on stage to show us how consumers can discover music through Zoom Social. Molly? 